Hello, my name is Rudy. Welcome to the VL Wizard tutorials. In this tutorial, I will explain how to use the effects and how to create your own effect, store it into the library so you can reuse it into any kind of voice you have loaded. Let's go for it. We open the voice browser and we load the voice. Voice gets loaded into the VL70. I'm going to listen to it. I take my wind controller. Okay, sounds pretty nice, the voice. Now, I'm going to have a look to the effects of that voice. What you see here are the, the effects that are coming with the voice that we have loaded into the VL Wizard. If you want to change that, click on that list here. And you have here predefined effects. This list is the same thing as what you have in the voice browser. And you see here, it's the same thing. So if you would load it here, or if you load it from here, you do the same. Let's take an example. Voilà, we have loaded the radio effect. <coughs> and let's do that here. Take the enhancer. I will explain now how to create your effect and store this into the library so you can reuse it. Imagine we want to change this one. Improve that one. So we are here. Let's switch that a little bit lower. Let's take all two. Put the reverb a bit lower. Here we select symphony, switch that, center the signal, okay, and then remove or I put the levels a little bit lower. Now I'm going to listen to it, maybe a little bit more reverb. Okay, imagine that you have this effect and that you want to reuse that for other voices. The way to do that is simple. Go to the field category here, click into that, remove this and change that into FX. Okay, give it a name that you recognize. Let's call this boost 09 and then give it an, an element name called effect or something like that. Can be anything. And here my comments for my new great effect. Okay. Then you go here, click this button. Imagine we want to save it into the favorites library. Voila, favorites in the category effects, you see now boost 09. You see here as well the little dialogue appearing, hmm. just to confirm that it was stored. The important thing is to understand that if you have a voice stored under a category called FX, then the library will only load the effect parameters into the editor, not Nothing else, so not the element, and, uh, not the common parameters, nothing else, and only the effect parameters. So you could create an effect category into any kind of library you want. Uh, so that's an, an interesting thing to improve or uh, to uh, organize yourself. Okay, we have created here this uh, effect. Let's now take another voice and we gonna see what it does when we load that effect. Here I have another voice. Let's just play it. Okay, now let's load our effect. Here we had boost 09. Double click on that. And here we are. Here we have our own effect. <laughs> 
okay voila i think you get uh, the picture so if you want to create uh, a separate voice or an, an effect voice here the first thing you do is um, change the parameters of the effect uh, editor then go here in the category and change that to effects and then press this button and save it into any kind of a library voila i think that's it up to the next tutorials if you have any question just let me know uh, drop me in a little email and i will see uh, how i can put this into a new video bye